Good afternoon. Sorry, Major Phil Lay, self from HQG 357. I want to welcome you all to the announcement of the Army's very first best squad competition. This caps off a week of physically demanding and mentally taxing events. And I'll be honest, when we put this together, I didn't realize how hard it would be. It was probably the toughest seven days I've seen soldiers endure in my career. And you are truly the Army's best standing in this room. They endured a hurricane, multiple nights of limited sleep, conducted squad land navigations all over Fort Bragg, multiple air assaults, fired at Carl Gustav, AT4s, and actually were able to hang 60 rounds of 60 millimeter mortar, just to name a few of the events. After extraction from the field this morning, we immediately brought them to a grueling obstacle course. They successfully ex executed a demanding stress shoot. So standing with me right now are the 12 squad leaders of the 12 squads competing. Later on, we will bring up all of the soldiers from the squads so you can see them. Right now, I'd like to introduce the squad leaders rep representing the squads of the 12 commands. Representing Force Com from the 101st Airborne Division, the Mohawk Squad. Trayhawk Squad from the Airborne Ranger Training Brigade, the Striker Squad. Representing 2nd Cavalry Regiment, U.S. Army Europe and Africa. U.S. Army Pacific Squad from the 25th Infantry Division, the Wolfpack Squad. Charlie Company, 75th Ranger Regiment making up the U.S. Army Special Operations Command Squad. Very good. We've got the Minutemen from our Army National Guard. Representing the U.S. Army Reserves, the Honey Badgers. First Information Operations Command. Representing the Army Cyber, the Geek Squad, which is my favorite. Representing the Army Medical Command, the Tourniquets. U.S. Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases, the Dietrich Rattlers, representing the Army Futures Command. The Army Material Command Squad. And last but not least, representing the Old Guard, the Military District of Washington Squad. Let's give them a hand. Sergeant Major, our Sergeant Major of the Army, Sergeant Major SMA Michael Princeton joining us virtually. SMA? Uh, thank you. Uh, I look forward to narrowing this theme uh, down. Um, hey, Sergeant Major Blaisdell, if you can, just raise your hand if you can still hear me. Um, good. So uh, I'm really proud of you all, and I, uh, I can tell you that this weekend I spent with you, I actually came back to the Pentagon. And I was actually happy to be back in the Pentagon because the weekend I had time to spend with these great soldiers. They've had a phenomenal week. I think they all thought that they were just going to do these warrior task and battle drills. And we're still questioning uh, some of the squad until we probably put them in a helicopter and then dropped them off in the middle of nowhere. And I'm, I'm extremely proud of being adaptable and flexible with the weather and everything else we've thrown at them. Um, I couldn't be more proud to be the Sergeant Major of the Army. I look forward to hearing who the top four candidates, uh, the best squads that I'll see here on Friday. So uh, it's about time to, to get after that. Go. Thank you, SMA. All right. You guys take your seat. So a quick observation from me to you, competitors. I know I talked to you earlier. Every it's, Cadre leader from the 82nd, 18th Airborne Corps that came out and spent any time with you was highly impressed. And we all could tell that this, you guys are actually the Army's best. So whether you, you get, make it to Washington, D.C. or not, I want you to go home with your head held high. And I'm, not, I'm telling you the truth. Everyone that was around you and observed you and spent time with you 
You are the Army's best, so I appreciate that. Okay, unfortunately, only four squads can go forward. Only four will travel to Washington, D.C., where they will have a board and interview with the sergeant majors on your screen right now. And at this time, what we're going to do is we're going to bring four squads up, and one of those squads we will announce as the first squad that will be going forward to Washington, D.C. Squad 1, Forces Command. Squad 2, Trayoff. Squad 11, Army Material Command. And Squad 12, Military District of Washington. Okay, moving in, the first squad moving to Washington, D.C. is Forces Command, 101st Airborne Division. Four squads coming up. Squad three, U.S. Army Europe, Africa. Squad seven, Army Reserve. Squad eight, Army Cyber Command. Squad ten, Futures Command. Our next squad heading to D.C. Friday is Squad 7, Army Reserve. Four squads come up. So this time we're going to have two of these squad of these four squads will be uh, moving to Washington D.C. Squad four, U.S. Army Pacific. Squad five, U.S. Army Special Operations Command. Squad six, Army National Guard. Squad nine, Medcom. First squad, squad five, use the sock. And the fourth and final squad of the Army's first best squad competition is the Army National Guard, squad six. Use the SOC, National Guard, to stay up here. Uh, you know, just right, let's go. Okay, once again, recap. After a grueling competition, all right, everyone in here did a fantastic job. Squad one, force column. Squad 5, USASOC, Squad 6, the Army National Guard, and Squad 7, the Army Reserve. Sergeant Major Sims, your squad is one of the four squads. What, what's that mean to be able to have a shot at winning the very first best squad competition? 
Yeah. Hey, so I don't know if you want it done, you ask for one on one. Those are the warriors who are prepared for the fight, and they're going to uh, continue to bring the fight, and we're going to bring the title on the forces to command. Cool. Well done. Thanks, Mr. Armand. Thank you, Joe. Uh, SMA, I know you guys are busy. Uh, do you have any parting words to share before we head to DC for, uh, tomorrow? Over? Yeah. I just uh, say for all the competitors, what's already in place, they'll say, uh, I'm extremely proud of all of you. You've reached your pinnacle of your organization, and I couldn't be more proud of all of you for competing in the first best squad competition. And like I said, it was just a joy to spend time with you. We wish we could bring you all up. Uh, we wish we could crown you all as winners, but there's only going to be one. And like the Chief says, winning matters. So. Best of luck to all of you, and for all those that didn't actually make it forward, you should be extremely proud of everything that you've done because all of us here in my squad at the panel are very proud of all of you. So thank you, and for those moving up here to D.C., I look forward to seeing you Friday night and at the barbecue, but before that, we'll see you at the board, so good luck. Thanks, SMA. Appreciate it. All right, so I have a couple questions for our winning squads. Who do I start with first? Alvarez, where you at, Mr. Road, Road March King? Would you come in at 2? 214, sorry, maybe. Yeah, I like it. I put it on Twitter. All right, so who's the most challenging uh, part of this competition for you? Uh, definitely just uh, all the rocking we did. You know, we just never stopped and had a rock march on our back pretty much the whole competition. Pretty physically, so I think it's pretty right Absolutely, sorry, Major. Sorry, Kummer. Kummer. Yeah. Right here, sorry, Major. Hey, what did you learn about your squad throughout the competition? Um, they're all very resilient, um, and they don't stop driving forward, sorry, Major. Uh, everyone brings something different to the table, and uh, we just gel every day we got closer. Awesome. Yes, did a great job. Sergeant Avery, where are you at? Thank you, Sergeant Major. What's going to be the, your favorite memory from this week, if there is any? Uh, probably us as a squad scene on some of the rug marches that we're doing. Was that you? That was us. <laughs> Just trying to keep motivated and keep moving uh, along. I was okay with saying as long as you stay out the road, right? Right. <laughs> All right. Sergeant Rodriguez, sports con. What is a funny story from the field this week? There's a couple. So, um, I think one of them was um, we just got to patrol base. We just got told to do patrol base activities. Um, we had to start off with good intentions, um, and then we started uh, we started talking. That was kind of fun. Uh, inside of us, but um, kind of just dozed off, we got woken up um, very shortly, and we immediately got back to work, we kind, of, kind of had a laugh about it, because we, we didn't want to bother us and look forward to it. Uh, so did you get woken up by the master at once? We absolutely did. <laughs> yeah, thank you, master at once. Simpson, where you at? Here, sir, what are some ways your squad were close, close, close this week? I know you're close already, but I know it's pretty tough. What did you think? Sorry. I think some of the ways that we grew closer together were just uh, just confirming our trust that we already have in each other, just making that foundation stronger, uh, just like during that work game, you know, we just tested it against it and it proved that what we do as a squad and as, as uh, members of the Army, we uh, are resilient and we can face it. Did you put your day one to sleep last night? Oh, I'm going to ask Anderson. Yes, I'm going Man of many words, Anderson. All right. Hey, you guys sit down. Go back to your seat.
Okay, so really in closing, uh, I know I told you earlier how, how proud I am of you. And it's tough, but we have to be tough because our goal is to close with and kill the enemy. And we're all soldiers first. What you did in this competition, uh, that just the E3D during a hurricane with no notice. And I don't think that's ever, I think, I think I'm pretty sure that never happened before. And we had uh, the EIB committee, the ESB committee out here as well. They, they were not. Right? You pushed on, you were resilient, the valley, you're physically fit, you worked as a team. And I noticed uh, we, what we saw is some of you, when, when, when others were having a hard time, you stood up and, and, and you helped out. Right? Now, I remember one squad this morning. Where they couldn't find a certain, wasn't sensitive, but they couldn't find something, they had a time hack, and as soon as one sword was done, who needs help? That's what we did. Okay, that's what this is my squad is all about, and that's why this is the best squad in competition. And you never lost your cool leader. I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of you. Everyone here in Fort Bragg is proud of you. <coughs> Okay, but I do want to say one thing. I want to thank a few folks. I want to thank Forcecom, Sergeant Major Brady, uh, and, and 18th Airborne Corps, Sergeant Major Holland, and Sergeant Major Pitt in the 82nd Airborne Division, and mostly 3rd Brigade, 82nd Airborne Division. Uh, I know this was tough on you, Sergeant Major, um, but you guys did it, and I was proud of you with your courage with this every day, and I think everybody in here was. So, uh, couldn't have done it without uh, Sergeant, Brad, Sergeant Major Bradshaw and his team. So thank you very much. All right. Be sure to join us at AUSA. The links are out uh, starting next week. And on Monday, we'll announce the winning squad of the best squad competition. And we'll also be announcing the, best, uh, the soldier and NCO of the year from the competition. So that's all. Thanks. Have a good day.